I found out who slandered me, y'all. It was a dude, some dude named Tommy Tomahawk Tony. Tom, Tomahawk Tony is the one that slandered me, y'all. So I figured that out. And uh, he told me I'm slandering myself by not calling myself an Indian. So I'm finna do a little video on Indian. So, uh, and I'm gonna be bringing up, I'm gonna be screen sharing stuff. So, you know, I'm finna ignore the comment section for a little bit, but. So what's up everybody? It's indigenous realist the realist, y'all. And today I wanna go over the etymology of the word uh, Indian because a brother who already has slandered me once, so I shouldn't even be wasting time making a video for him, but a dude named Tomahawk Tony told me I'm slandering myself by not calling myself an Indian, even though I know that an Indian is a native for India. But I'm not going to my own horn, so therefore I'm just going to give you the etymology. Indian. Indian is an adjective. So first of all, before I even go in on the etymology, we got to know an adjective is a description of a noun. You get what I'm saying? An adjective is just a description of a person, place, or thing. It's not a person, place, or thing, first of all. So it's just as good as the word black. But uh, let's go. An uh, Indian. An uh, Indian is an inhabitant of India. From late Latin, Indianus. Applied to the Aboriginal native inhabitant of the Americas from 1553 as a noun. 1553, we know we've been over here thousands, if not millions of years, we've been in America. And the term Indian has only been used since 1553. All right. 1610, it was used as an adjective to describe the noun. All right, let's go. Reflect, all right, Indian is reflecting Spanish and Portuguese use on the mistaken notion that America was the eastern end of Asia. When they say Spanish and Portuguese use, they're talking about Christopher Columbus, who I already made a video about. Check out my Christopher Columbus video. Also used 8th century, 18th century, and 19th century for Philippines, the indigenous peoples of Australia, and New Zealand. An old English term was Indus and Indus, and that was in the 16th century. Now I'm finna screen show, I'm finna share my screen and show y'all what Indus means, like what, what that means, where the word actually comes from. Let me see, can I find it? Look, all of these have a root in Indus. All of these have a root in Indus. All of them, all of them right there come from Indus. Let's see, we got indiscreet, we got indiscernible, indiscretion, indiscretion, indiscriminate, indiscreet, indiscipline, indiscriminately, and then we have Indian at the bottom. You get what I'm saying? You see why this ain't a term for us? Now let me go, I got another slide. I looked up the word indigenous, right? Let's let's see indigenous. Okay, here we have indigenous. Look what it says. Indigenous, born or originating in a particular place, originating in a particular place, corresponding words. Look at all these words it corresponds with. I'ma flip the page. Look at all these countries. All these countries, they call their people the indigenous. The original people of all these places are indigenous. So we call ourselves Indian. Indian is the proper term, so says Tomahawk Tony or whatever the hell his name is. He even called me a nigger. He called me a nigger multiple times. But look what this says. They're describing all original people from all these places. Even plants. Even plants get the term indigenous. Indigenous comes from being sprung up out the land, but we're gonna go over etymology in a second. I just wanna show all these all these different people that they call, in turn, indigenous, who are original inhabitants. Look, all these people, even the Creole, look. I haven't talked to seen, look, Canary, even the people of the uh, Canary Islands, indigenous. People of Iran, indigenous. You get what I'm saying? All these people. Let me go back to India. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy. All right, all right, all right. All right. Now let's look at the etymology of indigenous. Indigenous means originating or occurring naturally. Naturally, 
in a particular place. It comes from Latin, indigenous, a native sprung from the land, actually sprung from the land. You get what I'm saying? That's where the word indigenous comes from. So that's why I use that word. People ask why I use indigenous. Well, now we know.